Captain on the bridge. Alrighty, Captains, we are back on the bridge. And today, yes, we got some things to go over from the Star Trek Online X feed. So on screen. Yes, Captains, before we get into this video, do us a huge favor. Hit that like button. Also, if you're new here, welcome. Consider subscribing to our YouTube bridge as we're always on the lookout for like-minded captains where we can share our love, our passion for Star Trek Online, but also things Star Trek. Now that said, here we go. Caps, we got three things to go over. So as we always do, we're going to drop the ECs on each and every one of them. And of course, at the end, give our conclusion. So first up here, the entire galaxy is going to red alert on Xbox and PlayStation next week. Earn daily progress and secure great rewards. So this is for the console caps. There you go. The galaxy goes to red alert. So the entire galaxy is going to red alert from August 22nd to September 5th. On Xbox and PlayStation, all of our red alert events will be returning at once as the final frontier is caught in a massive invasion on all sides. During this event, you'll be able to play the following content. So Borg, Ilachi, Tholins, and Kethi Nicole red alert. Of course, that I think Kevy does have a failure condition, which we did once and was my fault, probably. <clears throat> In addition to their usual rewards, these task force operations will also grant daily bonus progress. You receive one daily progress each day for completing one red alert. Doesn't matter which one on any character on your account. After you receive 10 daily progress, you'll be rewarded with a package containing the following once per account. So an ultimate tech upgrade, a specialization point, and an experimental ship upgrade token. So can't complain about that. So this is the two week version of this. So great, great way to just get quick free reward. And of course we always, always recommend the Borg Red Alert and Ortholium. Those are the only kind of two that we kind of cycle through anyway. So you can also purchase the, this grand prize on the events page if you'd prefer. The price will be prorated as you earn daily progress, becoming cheaper the more you play. If you earn or purchase the event's grand prize, you can still complete red alerts to earn bonus progress. Completing a red alert TFO each day will grant a bonus amount of dilithium ore, beginning at 8,000 and increasing by 1,000 for each completion thereafter. Red alert task force operations are available to captains of level 50 or higher. Head out and defend the galaxy captains go to red alert. Again, great way to get at the very least your daily reputation marks. Now, again, if you're done, you can use those marks towards the lithium ore and, and or, of course, reputation gear. And of course, once you actually do complete it, keep doing it for the lithium as we always recommend so that you can convert that lithium ore, of course, into refined and then convert the refined to Zen. So, Captain, there is that. That's going to be coming next week as of this video. Next. So get the maximum out of your equipment on PC this weekend with double points for your tech upgrades. Again, this is now for the PC bridge. So upgrade weekend, captains on PC can get double the upgrade points this weekend. Still striving to get the greatest performance out of your equipment. This weekend will be the perfect time to apply tech upgrades to your gear as we're doubling the amount of technology points earned from each one applied. From August 17th, so that's actually gonna be today as the release of this video, after of course maintenance, to August 21st on PC, every tech upgrade used will apply twice as many technology points toward your next upgrade. This in turn reduces the amount of dilithium that must be spent on to reach each upgrade threshold, allowing captains additional chances to attain both marked and rarity increases on their favorite loadouts. Of course, captains, we always recommend using the Phoenix Tech upgrades that you can get from the Dilithium store. It costs Dilithium, but the overall performance of those are much better than ones that you can craft. So those are recommendations there. We just currently working on a ground build. So we may want to, or probably gonna do a lot of upgrading tomorrow. So at least it gives us a chance to, if we don't at least get up to the mark 15 at least maybe a rarity increase so there is that that is for my pc caps so lastly here so star trek online will have pc maintenance tomorrow of course again august 17th estimated downtime is 2.5 hours so you can find the patch notes here so again this is for august 17th 
General, resolved an issue that caused some players to lose Galactic Red Alert event progress. Added a cloaking system to the Friendship class flight deck carrier. So that is the Halo melee weapon that was just recently released. So there you go. That should have been there from the get-go, but it is getting added so to those. And I actually know a bunch of captains who have it and are quite enjoying it. Again, not our type of ship that we would get, but to those who are getting it, it does have some good pet, I believe, console and or the trait. Captains, if you do have that ship, let me know which one is better for the pet builds. If not, both maybe, perhaps. But there you go. So Caps, that is the video. That is the update. Just a short, quick one. Just wanted to go over this as of the 17th as the release of this video. So again, Captains, do us a huge favor. Hit that like button. Of course, comment below. Let us know if you got the friendship class and or your thoughts on that ship. And of course... Consider subscribing here to our YouTube bridge and we will leave it on this note. Live long and prosper.